I do roller derby because it's a great way to get aggression out, and I think that sounds like I'm like hitting people all the time hard, but I'm not. It's more like I'm skating hard, and that's really exciting. And it's great exercise, actually, too. You're actually working your thighs and your butt really hard, so I hear that roller girls have the best butts in the entire world. And I skate under the name Estragina Davis. I love the costumes. Roller derby is great for anyone who loves to dress up. And I'm not just talking about the burlesque element, which I hear a lot of reporters say about us. It's not just about the fishnets for me. It's more like, holy crap, I get to wear all these funky colors. I get to, you know, dress up at least once a week, and it's super fun. When I'm not roller skating, I am working as a post-production assistant on a feature documentary in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, or I'm home walking my pug, who we just got in November. <laughs> you don't always schedule in fun for yourself on a regular basis, but this way I have to be here every Thursday. I have to have fun and I have to be aggressive. So it's like all in one in that two hour time period. Are you kidding me? It's like skyrocketed my husband's libido. Yeah, don't get too close. I smell lovely. <laughs> Not only do I look lovely, <laughs> I smell lovely. I'm nervous around these girls. They're amazing skaters and they've been here a while now and I'm not there yet. So I come to practice every, night, every week with butterflies in my stomach and wondering, okay, am I gonna be able to do this tonight? Or am I gonna be able to do this? You know, am I gonna pass my assessments? You know, so there's that, there's that part that makes me a little more reserved than typical quirky Wendy. I am a stay-at-home mom. My three kids, it's nice to know that I have an outlet where I can just take it out. You know, I love my kids, but of course they drive you crazy. So this is a great way to just skate it out. Just take all that aggression and stuff and just put it on your skates. This has just made my life awesome. That every time I come in, I leave having learned something new. Like, like last week, I couldn't do crossovers, and this week I can do them both sides because I practice. Every week, I'm better. It, there's like no point where I'm just like, wow, that sucked. Um, I'm Rumble Pie, number 3.14159. I wanted something really dorky, but also tough. I work at a rape crisis center. There have been days when I've just like gone to the hospital and been with the survivor for hours and like come out feeling really like frustrated and aggressive. I'm just like, yeah, I get to go hit people who want to be hit, you know? Like, it's a supportive group of women who are really strong and powerful and like want to be here with each other, and we get to hit people. It's awesome. I like the idea of having like this alter ego. I, I don't think they're two different people. I think they're like sides that you're more allowed to express, you know? And we definitely express the like angry, willing to touch each other's butts, push each other around person here, which I definitely wouldn't be doing at work, you know. Everyone comes from a different background. Like, we're not just all these crazy people. We're, we're all really different in different places, but we come together twice a week and just, like, skate.